Hi everyone, uh, so I'm back with week seven and this is Valentine's week so I wanted to use some Valentine's collections so I used the Simple Stories Sweet Talk collection which I really like and it's a 2020 collection and I haven't quite got through it yet so I wanted to use that up. So I will talk through the photos, so obviously as I said it was Valentine's week and the photo on the top right is of the flowers that Joe got me, he got me some red roses for Valentine's Day. Um, the photo on the middle left, just the little one, is just of our KFC. Um, I was quite hungover on the Sunday, surprisingly, from my brunch, which is on the previous layout. Um, so I got KFC for lunch, dinner sort of thing, just because I just really craved it, really. <laughs> so I just thought I'd document that. And then the photo on the right in the middle is of the tea that Joe cooked on Valentine's Day, which is one of his favourites. It's his own little blend of stuff. It's um, steak and hash browns. But it was really, really nice. He loves making it. So we had that for our Valentine's tea. The photo on the bottom left, yeah, bottom left, is of the book series that I've just bought, which I'm really excited to start reading. It's the Luna Chronicles book. Um, I've seen quite a few people read them and recommend them so I bought the whole collection um online I haven't got two of them yet because I've got some other books I want to read first but these will be my next sort of series that I want to read so I was excited about getting those and then the photo that will be on the bottom right is a photo of Joe and Mango in bed watching tv and speaking of Mango Mango has come to have a look and see what's going on so yeah so not too busy week but obviously this is part one. The end of the week was actually much busier. So the second part of this um, week will be a bit more going on. But yeah, it's just mainly about um, Valentine's Day, really, actually, to be honest, the first couple of days. So I'm using the um, Simple Stories Cut Apart, the 6x4. It says, You Have My Heart. I'm going to use that as my title card, um, just because I think it's really cute. It's got a bit of plain background to it that I can write on um, the dates and the week and stuff like that on there. So I'm just embellishing the photo of the roses and I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do because I was going to put something in the middle but I felt that it was blocking the rose and the rose in the middle is actually my favourite out of the whole photo because it's it's really big and you can see like every petal so I didn't really want to block it out so I decided on just using um, something small to go on the side and I'm just choosing the washi tape that I'm going to use and I do decide on this paper chase one um, it's just white and it's it's almost see-through. It's very, very thin. Um, and it's just got pink hearts along it. So I'm using that just to base everything. I don't know where I've gone. But I'm going to use that to base everything. And then I use a sticker from the sticker sheet that says February 14th. Because obviously it's Valentine's Day. And then I use one of the little word stickers that I love. And it says Happy Heart Day on there. And then they did have these little hearts all around the page and I decided to use the pale pink one um, just for the top there. And then I did pick out these gems from my stash. They're from Dovecraft. It's from their um, collection called Kiss and Makeup. Um, you'll see them in I decide to add them on. But they're these heart gems. They're on the side. They're on the right. Um, they're a mixture of pink and red gems. So I wanted to use some of those. So I do use them as I scatter along the photos. So I'm just using some um, pink paper for the background. It's a really old paper that I've had for a while from the works. It was just a one pound paper pad. I think it's just like floral, pink florals or something like that. And um, I'm just using it as a background, really. Although the background to all these, like the, the back side of this um, sleeve is amazing. You know, with the all the florals and stuff from the previous layout. So if I'd thought about it, I probably could have kept it, but... I wanted to use this collection, so that meant, you know, downsizing the pink and stuff. So, yeah, so for the KFC photo, I'm just using, I use that cute little, like, Coke um, glass with the straws in, because I thought that was cute, because obviously we had, like, fizzy drinks and stuff with our KFC. And then I got a word sticker, that just a load of XOs at the top there. And that's all I pretty much do on there. And I think that's when I decide that I want to put these little gems on. So I add a red one to the KFC page and add a pink one to the the red the yeah the red roses on there. And then the 
slot next to that photo is going to be a journaling card I decided um, and it's just a really cute little well yeah journaling card it's just got space in the middle that you can write on and um, it's already got like a little banner at the top which is nice um, with a little heart on there and in the journaling bit I put we don't do much for Valentine's Day but we had flowers and chocolate and one of Joe's favourite meals, which was steak and hash browns. We had KFC on the Sunday because I was hungover from brunch. And we love having the upstairs TV. Um, yeah, we love having the upstairs TV. And I also got a new book series. So very, very brief writing. So I'm just trying to cut. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to cut down. For some reason, it still wouldn't fit in the sleeve. So I'm just trying to cut it down to make sure it fits in there. But I think it takes me a while to get it in there. Just did not like it whatsoever. And then I messed up the one pre on the previous layout. <laughs> oh, it all went a bit wrong. But yeah, and then the the um, sleeve next to that is just going to be a filler card that just says forever and always. Um, I didn't really do anything to that card, to be honest. The one on the journaling one, I just put a little word sticker. It says all of my heart and I just put it in there and I do come back and do my journaling later. And yeah, as I said, I put the forever and always for the card just in there and that's I just leave it as it, that really um and then I'm just going to use it as an outline to obviously get the, the paper correct and this is where I mess up again I've done this so many times I cut round the photo rather than cutting round the, the three by four card so I end up with two smaller pieces of paper so then I have to pick out another piece of paper to cut around it so I've done that a few times I don't know why it's when I'm not concentrating and obviously the photo is not going to be big enough. That's why I'm cutting out a piece of paper to put the photo on. So, yeah. So, I made a mistake there. But I'm just going to put the photo of uh, the steak on that piece of paper. And then I find a little sticker from the sticker sheet. It's really cute. It's a, like, um, some lips. It's took me a while to figure out which one I wanted. But it's just these big lips that they have there. Just because, obviously, it's like eating. And then I use a little word sticker that says, You plus me equals true love. And then I do actually use another little red gem sticker, uh, red gem, like heart gem on there as well. So, yes, yeah, so we don't really do too much for Valentine's Day. Joe seems, Joe's very much like, oh, it's a, it's a holiday that, you know, makes you spend money basically and all that sort of jazz. So we don't really do too much. Um, but as I said, we do like to buy each other chocolates and flowers and stuff to enjoy. It's uh, We tend to go out every month anyway to like a new restaurant or have like date night every month. So Valentine's Day really isn't much of a big deal for us here. So yeah, so just putting in that um, photo. So then the photos down at the bottom, um, as I said, it's the series that I've got. So the Lunar Chronicles, basically, I, I read them. No, I didn't. I heard of them from um, YouTube actually from the is it Nicole Jones um I watch her scrapbook video all the time I started to binge watch them and um she's the one actually that inspired me to do these process videos and things because I love watching hers so I thought actually you know it's a really good idea because she does it for her kids and one day they can read um they can watch back and you know see her videos and stuff and I think that's really cute so anyway so she inspired me but she was reading these books and she said they're really good and then I joined Goodreads um and they've got really, really good reviews on there. So I thought I'd buy them. They were pretty much half price on uh, the World of Books website, which is a really good secondhand book website if anyone wants to buy secondhand books. And um, yeah, so I bought them and I'm really looking forward to reading them all. But I've got a few books that I want to read first. Um, I like to get through the books I had before, before I move on to new ones, just because obviously... If you keep buying new stuff you sort of you don't try and you don't use your old stuff so it's the same with my scrapbooking things like I try and use the old stuff before I move on to the new stuff and things so I'm looking forward to reading those um but I just want to document them because I'm really into reading at the moment but then for some reason I decide to do <laughs> the picture of Joe and Mango first so we've got this tv upstairs we bought one finally we do we used to have one but Joe stole it and used it for his room downstairs um for his like his games and stuff so uh, we never had a, a TV in our bedroom. So anyway, so we eventually bought one and it's really cool. Like We don't spend hours watching it, but before we go to bed, we might sit and watch something quickly before we 
pretty much always fall asleep. Um, but Mango likes to come up and sit on our shoulders and just watch the TV with us. So I took a picture of them and I just used that there was a little two by two square that says Hey Cutie on there. And I just cut the Hey Cutie bit, speech bubbles out and put them um, just above them basically. And then I just used some washi tape with a little heart sticker and a little word sticker that says So Sweet on there. And then with a picture of the books, um, I use a 2x2 two two card that had like a little typewriter on there. And I thought that was cute because obviously like writing and things. The one on the sticker sheet was blue. And I know this, the, the books are blue, but everything else on this page is red and pink. So I kind of wanted to keep it the same. Um, so I decided to use the 2x2 two two one, which is the one I'm trying to find out, that one. And um, and all I do is just use a little word sticker that says you've stolen my heart because, as I said, I got really into reading. I really enjoy it and I read pretty much every day now. Um, and then I just use a little pink gem heart again just to put at the top. And that's all I really do on this page. Um, I really like this page. It's um, I like the collection and, you know, I love simple stories. It, they're definitely one of my favourite well, I I don't really have a favourite, but they, they just get it. Like I just absolutely love their collections. They're always so good. Like I don't think I've not liked a Simple Stories collection. And they always have really like niche little stickers and stuff, and I just think it's adorable. So, yeah, so I got to use up some of that collection. Not too much, but a bit. And obviously I've got week the second part of the week to go, so I use up a bit more. So now I'm deciding on my title card. So, as I said, I'm using the... Um, six by four cut out that says you have my heart and I'm just going to use these red alpha stickers that I've used before maybe yeah I think I use them for week six actually and um, they're just like foam red stickers that I bought when I did my China travel album and again I just use a W and the K it might even be an M actually I'm not too sure um, and obviously I just use the, the number seven and I do actually use one of the little asterisks there as well. So I think that's where I've gone. I think I've gone to go get my alpha stickers. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, so I'm pretty certain I use an M. Um, because, I, yeah, I definitely use an M. Because the other sheet there doesn't have any Ws on there. So, yeah, so I use the number seven. And then I use the little asterisks just for bits, really. <laughs> just because it looked pretty. Um, and then I use my alpha stamp. No, I don't. I use my date stamp to put the 13th of Feb to the 19th of Feb. That was my cat flap, so apologies if you heard that. Um, so yeah, and then I just use um, another little sticker from the sticker sheet. It's just a little red heart, and I just stick that at the top, um, just above you. And that's it. That is all I do. Uh, we did Joe did buy me a card and when I do the flip through of this album um, you'll see all the little bits and pieces I do actually add bits into the binder um, like I hole punch them and put them in I just they're either too big to put in the sleeves or they're just additional little random bits that go with the day or something that happened that week um, but obviously I don't show them on camera because it's not me doing the actual sleeve but yeah so I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back with the second part very shortly Bye.